Who said sports video games weren't innovative anymore? Well, I've definitely said that. The AAA sports video game scene has been disappointing and unexciting for a long time, but indie developers have been releasing some cool titles recently. Legend Bowl and Sunday Rivals are indie football games you've probably heard of that I've covered here. Another game I plan on going over is a retro-styled volleyball game called Spick Air Volleyball. But nothing has come close to 4D Golf when it comes to innovation. 4D Golf actually just released today. I saw a trailer for the game a few months ago and Wish listed it on Steam, and today when I saw it released, I figured I'd give it a try and make a video on it. I did not get a free copy, and I actually bought the game because I thought it looked cool. I have zero affiliation with the game, and this is not a sponsored video. There have been plenty of 2D and 3D golf games over the years, but this is the first 4D golf game. I think it's the first 4D sports game in general. It's tough to wrap your head around 4D, but that's part of the charm. The fourth dimension is really difficult for us humans to understand, since our brains evolved to understand a 3D world. But some scientific theories, such as string theory, suggest that there could be 10 dimensions. I can't wait for 7D golf and 8D basketball. I know, <laughs> this sounds really confusing, and looking at gameplay of this game it may also look confusing, but again, that's the charm. It makes more sense when you actually play the game. Here's the tutorial session. I'm using a keyboard and mouse to play this, but a controller works too. At first glance, it's just a regular 3D golf game, right? But when you click and drag the left mouse button, you'll be able to look around the fourth dimension. Pathways and objects that don't appear in 3D can be hidden in the fourth dimension. As you look around this fourth dimension, those paths and objects begin to appear, disappear, and reappear within the third dimension. Luckily, the game makes this easy for the player to navigate through. Clicking the H key will put the hole in your three-dimensional view by moving across the fourth dimension automatically. Clicking the B key will do the same thing to make sure your ball is visible in the third dimension. Clicking the V button will show you a 3D representation of the volume of the fourth dimension. These tools help a lot. The point of the game is obviously to get the ball in the hole, but to do that you need to get the ball near where the hole actually is in four dimensions and then hit it in. As you can see in this initial footage of my gameplay, I first spot where the hole is, then I try and find a good path to hit the ball, then before each swing I keep adjusting my view of the fourth dimension until I can get a straight shot. I really like the swing mechanic. You hold the space bar and then use your mouse to swing back and then forward to hit the ball. It feels really good in practice, and emulates an actual swing. As you can see, I'm not very good at the game yet, but to be fair, I've never played anything in 4D before. 4D Golf has a large selection of varied maps and aesthetics, and the music is very charming. Just playing for my first hour was a lot of fun, and it's great if you enjoy golf games but want more of a mental challenge. The game has local multiplayer, a marble mode, and eventually VR and online multiplayer will come with an update. There's even a level editor which adds a ton of replayability. As of right now, this game is only on PC, however. This is simply a short little video showing you guys that yes, innovative sports games do exist. I wanted to shed a light on 4D Golf because it's a well-executed, unique idea in a genre that rarely sees anything of the sort. If you're looking for a simulation-style golf game, 2K or EA would be better options. But if you want to play something genuinely new, different, and exciting, 4D Golf is worth checking out. Thanks for watching this two-dimensional video from a three-dimensional perspective.